Jay Stono here. Today we're talking about sea foam. Yeah. Anybody know what this is? It actually feels like soap and it's got like this darker color to it, a little bit slimy. Let's see if I can find a big chunk of this stuff. It's washing all up here right now. Um, you might think that this is a bad thing, but it's not. This is actually the sign that we've got a healthy ocean. Uh, this is the breakdown of like plankton, fungi, algae. It's all the uh, decomposition. And then once it gets into the surf, breaks it up and it acts like a surfactant and it makes all these bubbles. And so the stuff that we're finding up here today, there's a lot of it washing in. Um, this stuff is not, I would not consider it uh, to be a bad thing based on how uh, we've seen the conditions lately with, uh, you know, yeah, no algal blooms, which that can uh, make these things a little bit toxic is this, if you have, say, like a red tide coming in, that red tide starts to decompose, then you would start seeing a lot of the uh, bubbles and uh, uh, foam start coming in. And that could actually trap some of the, the air in the bubbles and then the bubbles come out uh, and, and it has got that toxic uh, you know, smell to it. Um, but let's just walk along here. Check out some of this coming in. Now the sun's just coming up, but look at my hand next to here, how big this is. Now, the, the thing about this not being toxic is that it, it actually could be, again, if there's a big rain event, like a storm event, look at this stuff, it's coming at me. And you have, uh, storm water and stuff like that coming in you know you can get uh, petroleum products that would be on here and they can be at high concentrations absorbed to the outside of the bubbles um, then you wouldn't want to have long-term contact with it but the bubbles that we're seeing washing up uh, today because we've had some really big surf over the last few days um, you know we're seeing this stuff washing up we think it's fine and I, as far as i can see I see this coming in. Now sometimes how they maintain the beach, uh, this part of the beach on Mustang Island, they're not grading or anything, but lots of times you see them pushing sand into the water, you'll see this stuff being stirred up. Um, you'll see it, it'll make like uh, foam uh, showing up and stuff like that. But today, that's not what we're seeing. We're seeing this. I mean, I've been on about seven miles of beach here today and it is pretty consistent all the way down. So. Uh, just thought I would bring that up in case some of y'all are concerned about what this um, foam stuff is and if it's bad to touch and stuff like that. Uh, today on the Gulf Beach, uh, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, so, oh my gosh. Look at this. Ah! I just looked down right now. A sand dollar uh, that's alive. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to put that back in. Hey, okay, well, that wasn't part of the show, but uh, that's pretty cool. Find a live sand dollar. Uh, the, all the big waves I've been talking to you about, that's probably why this uh, sucker got uh, pulled up here. So I'll go put it back in. Hopefully it'll be fine. Okay, that's it for Beachcombing this week about seafoam. We'll talk to you later. Bye.